Hey everyone, I'm Catherine Chloe Cahoon. So ever since my travel book came out, I have received so many questions about makeup that's easy to travel with. And during college, I studied in Europe every summer and I just wanted to streamline my life. So I took this little Bobbi Brown brick. It's the official name is called Shimmer Brick Compact. And in fact, I put all my makeup into this little pouch, including my brushes. But what's so great about this brick is that in just one little square, you have so many different eyeshadow colors. And then if you take your blush brush and swipe down the colors, you have your blush. And this actual brick is called Rose, but you can get so many different bricks and they all have different palettes so you can get the one that fits your coloring. A lot of makeup companies come with these travel size bricks so you can find one that you love. I have a friend Duncan Smith who is an amazing makeup artist and he has agreed to come in and give us some travel makeup tips. So what makeup is really easy to take for travel? A lot of creams and liquids are really hard to pack. Um, one really great product is the paint pots from MAC. Um, these are great because they come in a variety of different colors. Um, anywhere from your very, very natural, which you can use as an eyeshadow base underneath so that it's really, all of your makeup is gonna look amazing from the time that you put it on until the time you take it off before you go to bed. So does basically this go underneath your eyeshadow or is this like it can be itself. used either way, oh, okay. depending on the color. So mm -hmm. with your more natural colors, which we're going to use um, a more natural color on you, um, this can work as your eyeshadow base, evening out the color of your eyelid, mm -hmm. but then also it's really going to keep that eyeshadow on, or you can use a deeper color, which is going to act as an actual eyeshadow. So it's like a cream eyeshadow and base in one product. So that's great. Like yeah. if you're sightseeing now in the humidity, it'll just Oh, absolutely. Right there. It'll stay on from when you put your makeup <laughs> on at six in the morning when you get up till 3 a.m. when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're actually going to use that more natural color. I'm going to start by using a concealer brush mm -hmm. and just applying this over your whole eye from the lash all the way to the brow. So just a very, very thin layer. Because we're gonna layer other shadows on top of this, it doesn't have to be heavy because we don't really need to see the color. We just want the product to work as that cement. from the lash all the way to the brow, really concentrating it on the eyelid, because that's, I mean, to be honest, you don't crease under your eyebrow, so we don't need as much product up there. Then another really great thing for traveling is eyeshadow palettes. Um, they're just so convenient because you can get so many different looks with eyeshadow palettes, whether it's one for a really natural eye or something for your more dramatic. Mm -hmm. um, they're great because you have that those options. Um, the palette that I'm going to use just for an everyday, just basic eye um, is from Cargo Cosmetics. It's um, an eyeshadow palette that has four colors and it's cool because like you can see that they kind of lay it out for you. Yeah, I don't know if you all can see but they actually write. So you know that this is brow bone <laughs> and then from there on, that's cool. Yeah. So it tells you exactly where to put these colors. It's good for in the morning too, because you don't have to think, you just do what it says. Right. And, there, and with this too, there's only a couple of brushes that you need to do pretty much any look with eye makeup. Um, your flat application brush and then your blending brush, just so that the makeup looks perfect. Mm -hmm. um, so we're actually gonna start with the brow bone color, and we're actually gonna work right down with this one. So we're going to start with that lighter color right under the brow. And then blend that 
just bring it down into the crease slightly. Then I'm going to take the next color, <laughs> the eyelid color, and exactly what it says, we're going to place it right on the eyelid using that application brush, the more flat brush. So you can go ahead and take a look. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go ahead and do your other eye. Now for the crease color, I'm gonna take that fluffier brush because this is gonna do a little bit more diffused application. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and look down in your mirror. You see when you look down in your mirror, the shadow that's naturally created? Mm -hmm. That's your crease and that's where we really wanna focus this color. So I'm just gonna blend it back and forth right in there like a windshield wiper. So it gives a perfect crease every single time. And with your crease color, you can't really over blend it. So spend just that little extra time blending it and it'll look better. And then taking the same brush right at the outer corner of the eye, I'm gonna take the color that's labeled outer corner. And this is just gonna add a little bit more depth. And what kind of brush is this? What is it called? Um, so this is the MAC 224 brush. It's a mm -hmm. ponytail brush. Um, so the way that it's shaped is really designed to diffuse color um, so that your color goes on lighter. With your darker colors, this is a great brush to use because you can always add more color. It's a lot easier to add color than take color away. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot more user-friendly that way. And especially with a real deep color like this, you wanna be careful because we don't wanna get it all over your face and we mm -hmm. also don't want it to go too dark and try and blend it down because you'll never be able to blend that down. <laughs> just right here in the outer corner of the eye. Beautiful. Now using the same palette, I'm just gonna take an angle brush. And we're actually gonna use that dark color for your eyeliner, so there's no reason to have another product for your eyeliner either. Mm -hmm. The more things that we can do with one product, the better. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take that angle brush and really just press that darkest color right into the lash line. It gives a beautiful soft definition. Go ahead and take a look at that. So it doesn't oh, yeah, look hard good. like an eyeliner pencil, but it's gonna really stick and stay there. Mm -hmm. And we aren't having to use more products. It's nice too because you don't even have to wet it down. Right. Yeah, that nice firm brush really makes that color super impactful. Just like that. Fantastic. Top that off with a little bit of mascara. look down for me. The mascara that I'm using is a waterproof mascara, just because who knows how long you're going to be out for the day. You want that mascara to stay in play. Fantastic. Go and take a look. Yeah, it looks really good. Another really great product for traveling is this product. Um, this is from NARS Cosmetics. It's called mm -hmm. the Multiple. 
Um, these are really great because they were designed to be used for eyes, cheeks, and lips. Mm -hmm. um, where we're gonna use this is both on the lip as well as the cheek, and you could add a little bit more shimmer to the eye by placing this just directly over any other makeup that you've done. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm actually gonna put it in the palm of my hand. And then this is a great product because you can use fingers to put it on. Mm -hmm. um, so just take your finger and really just dab this right onto the cheek and then blend it out. And it just gives a really nice soft wash of color. The color that we're using is actually part of their Orgasm collection, which is actually the number one selling blush in the world. Mm -hmm. adds a hint of color to the lip, and then go ahead and close your eye for me. Just a little bit of color and sheen right to the eye. There, go ahead and take a look. Just really beautiful and nice and fresh. Fantastic. And it doesn't look like too much. Right. So you can go anywhere with it. Right. And then the last product that I'm going to use is actually a lip balm. Um, because it has a really nice, healthy finish to it. Mm -hmm. And then it also has an SPF too, so it's really going to protect your, protect your lips. Because mm -hmm. we don't really need to carry all of the glosses and all of those things if we're trying to pack light. Try and get as many... <laughs> many um, uses out of one product as we can. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take that lip balm and just put it just right on the lip. This is one of my favorite lip balms. It's um, actually a Blistex lip balm. So it's super inexpensive, but it really is moisturizing and has that sunscreen too. It smells yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's using just a few products really to create an entire look that you could do day to day. Mm -hmm. Well, and thank you. it's super you. easy to pack and travel with. I need to have you come along when I travel. <laughs> <laughs> right? For a recap, when you're traveling, you don't need to lug all of your makeup products from home. You can look great by just packing eight small items, including your brushes, a MAC paint pot, a travel palette like Cargo Essential Palette, a flat application brush, a blending brush, an angled brush, mascara, NARS the Multiple, and a Blistex lip balm. Another great travel resource is Nordstrom Automizer. And you can put your favorite perfume into it, if I can get the lid off. <laughs> And it's really little and you can take it when you travel and then if you want to bring more than one fragrance and be able to tell which one is which right away. They come in different colors. I have one in red and then in black. Something else that I absolutely love for travel is Bobbi Brown Empties. This kit is only $10 and it contains these small little containers you can put your face products in them. And what is really, really great is the fact that each container is within the 3.4 ounces. So you can just take all of them right on the plane. The kit also has these little stickers so you can label each container. For example, this one says eye makeup remover. Another thing to remember is that when you buy makeup products during promotions, they often give out samples, like this little sample mascara. And I always save my sample mascaras because they're the perfect size for travel. Well, thanks for watching this video, and after I announced that I would be making it, I received so many makeup questions that Duncan and I are going to come back and do more. Okay, see ya!